Are you prepared to embark on an extraordinary odyssey through the boundless expanses of outer space? Brace yourself as we are poised to unlock the enigmatic secrets of the universe. And this is thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, the most powerful telescope ever to be put into space. When the James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, launched on December the 25th, 2021, scientists expected the telescope to reveal unknowns in the deepest realms of space. But they certainly didn't anticipate this. As James Webb opened its eyes on the universe, it showed the curtain is lifting on a new era of our cosmic story, revealing strong evidence that challenges the Big Bang Theory. These unimagined findings, as renowned physicist Mikio Kaku said, could transform our understanding of the cosmos. We have to rewrite every single high school textbook on the planet Earth. Join us as we dig deep into James Webb's mind-bending discoveries that could defy Big Bang. Excellent evidence shows that the universe started with an event called the Big Bang, 13.8 billion years ago, which left it in an ultra-hot, ultra-dense state. The universe immediately began expanding after the Big Bang, cooling as it did so. One second after the Big Bang, the universe was a hundred trillion miles across, with an average temperature of an incredible 18 billion degrees Fahrenheit, that's 10 billion or so degrees Celsius. Around 400,000 years after the Big Bang, the universe was 10 million light years across and the temperature had cooled to 5,500 degrees Fahrenheit, about 3,000 degrees Celsius. If anyone had been there to see it at this point, the universe would have been glowing dull red like a giant heat lamp. Throughout this time, Space was filled with a smooth soup of high-energy particles, radiation, hydrogen, and helium. There was no structure. As the expanding universe became bigger and colder, the soup thinned out and everything faded to black. This was the start of what astronomers call the Dark Ages of the universe. The soup of the Dark Ages was not perfectly uniform, and due to gravity, tiny areas of gas began to clump together and become more dense. The smooth universe became lumpy, and these clumps of denser gas were seeds for the eventual formation of stars, galaxies, and everything else we see in the universe. Although there was nothing to see, the Dark Ages were an important phase in the evolution of the universe. The Dark Ages ended when gravity formed the first stars and galaxies that eventually began to emit the first light. Although astronomers don't know when first light happened, the best guess is that it was several hundred million years after the Big Bang. Astronomers also don't know whether stars or galaxies formed first. Current theories based on how gravity forms structure in a universe, dominated by dark matter, suggest that small objects, like stars and star clusters, likely formed first and then later grew into dwarf galaxies and then larger galaxies like the Milky Way. These first stars in the universe were extreme objects compared to stars of today. They were a million times brighter, but they lived very short lives. They burned hot and bright, and when they died, they left behind black holes up to a hundred times the sun's mass, which might have acted as the seeds for galaxy formation. Astronomers would love to study this fascinating and important era of the universe, but detecting first light is incredibly challenging. Compared to massive, bright galaxies of today, the first objects were very small, and due to the constant expansion of the universe, they're now tens of billions of light years away from Earth. Also, the earlier stars were surrounded by gas left over from their formation, and this gas acted like fog and absorbed most of the light. It took several hundred million years for radiation to blast away the fog. This early light is very faint by the time it gets to Earth. But this is not the only challenge. 
As the universe expands, it continuously stretches the wavelength of light traveling through it. This is called redshift because it shifts light of shorter wavelengths like blue or white light to longer wavelengths like red or infrared light. Though not a perfect analogy, it is similar to how when a car drives past you, the pitch of any sounds it is making drops noticeably. By the time light emitted by an early star or galaxy 13 billion years ago reaches any telescope on Earth, it has been stretched by a factor of 10 by the expansion of the universe. It arrives as infrared light, meaning it has a wavelength longer than that of red light. To see first light, you have to be looking for infrared light. And that's also why engineers optimized James Webb Space Telescope for specifically detecting the faint infrared light of the earliest stars or galaxies. Compared to the Hubble Space Telescope, JWST has a 15 times wider field of view on its camera, collects six times more light, and its sensors are tuned to be most sensitive to infrared light. This is one of the JWST's handiest tricks. Using its infrared sensing instruments, the telescope can peer past dusty regions of space to study light that was emitted more than 13 billion years ago by the most ancient stars and galaxies in the universe. That's how JWST took its famous deep field image, and that's how it will attempt to look even further back in time to the first few hundred million years after the Big Bang. The stars that the telescope will reveal may actually be long dead today, but as their ancient light makes the lengthy journey across the universe, JWST treats our mortal eyes to a one-of-a-kind time travel display. With this data, it could lift the veil on the secrets of the universe. That's why some have called NASA's JWST the telescope that aid astronomy. It is the most powerful space telescope ever built and a complex piece of mechanical origami that has pushed the limits of human engineering. On December the 25th, 2021, after years of delays and billions of dollars in cost overruns, the telescope was launched into space and ushered in the next era of astronomy. Now it's been more than a year since the most ambitious and most costly space telescope ever built was launched toward the L2 lag range point on the far side of the Earth from the Sun. Following the nerve shredding deployment that saw its mirrors and sun shield successfully unfold while navigating 344 potential points of failure, the $10 billion JWST has been churning out fantastic astronomical data since the summer. Even less than six months into observation, this data is transformative and scientists have already used it to make several important and groundbreaking discoveries. JWST was heralded as a revolutionary telescope before it launched. Now that it is in business, we look at some of the many ways that it is already succeeding in transforming astronomy. Perhaps the most spectacular and widely circulated photograph has been that of an amazing vista of distant galaxies known as Webb's first deep field. According to Bill Nelson, director of NASA, it represents, quote, a tiny portion of the universe, the size of a grain of sand held on the finger of an outstretched arm. Countless galaxies of every imaginable shape can be observed in this vanishing portion of the sky. Elongated, flattened and round, others so bright that they overshadow their neighbors. The universe overwhelms us, Nelson said. We are unable to conceive it and imagine its immensity. Better with a photograph? There is no image that can represent it in all its greatness. But from this week, we have the closest thing. All week, we have been looking with emotion at the first photo that the James Webb Space Telescope has captured. How Carl Sagan would smile today if he could have seen this image. The most distant of these galaxies, which appear as infrared arcs due to their so-called redshift and gravitational lensing, which distorts their apparent shape, emitted their light more than 13 billion years ago, according to preliminary calculations. 
just a few hundred million years after the moment that the entire universe was supposedly created 13.8 billion years ago, according to the Big Bang Theory. Observing more and more galaxies at times that barely succeed the supposed origin of the universe raises serious questions about the viability of the Big Bang Theory. How could bright, fully formed galaxies exist at what in cosmological terms would be regarded as a mere moment after the universe came into being. It is like watching an adult emerging fully formed from childbirth. According to the most widely accepted models of galaxy formation, giant galaxies are formed from small, faint clouds that gradually coalesce through cosmic mergers. This process takes billions of years. At a time when the universe was supposedly in its infancy, the theory predicts only the faintest dwarf galaxies, so small and faint that we would barely expect to see anything at all. Only later would giant galaxies form from cosmic mergers. And yet, here in the very first images sent back by the JWST, we are already confronted with galactic behemoths, giants that simply could not have formed in the time allotted to them in the established theory of the Big Bang. Put simply, James Webb is defying the supreme theory describing our cosmic origins. And that's not the only time James Webb has challenged our understanding. Earlier this year, the time machine has exposed an unimaginable finding that caused a stir in the scientific community. Specifically, while scanning a region of the cosmos near the Big Dipper, James Webb discovered a group of galaxies from the dawn of the universe that are so massive they shouldn't exist at all. The six gargantuan galaxies, which contain almost as many stars as the Milky Way, despite forming only five to seven hundred million years after the Big Bang, have been dubbed universe breakers by the team of astronomers that spotted them. That's because, if they're real, the discovery calls our entire understanding of the galaxy formation into question. It's bananas, co-author Erica Nelson, an assistant professor of astrophysics at the University of Colorado Boulder and one of the researchers who made the discovery said in a statement, you just don't expect the early universe to be able to organize itself that quickly. These galaxies should not have had time to form, she said. Scientists don't know exactly when the first clumps of stars began to merge into the beginnings of the galaxies we see today, but cosmologists previously estimated that the process began slowly taking shape within the first few hundred million years after the Big Bang. Currently accepted theories suggest that one to two billion years into the universe's life, these early proto-galaxies reached adolescence, forming into dwarf galaxies that began devouring each other to grow into ones like our own. Because light travels at a fixed speed through the vacuum of space, the deeper we look into the universe, the more remote light we intercept and the further back in time we see. By using the JWST to peer roughly 13.5 billion years into the past, the astronomers found that enormous galaxies had already burst into life very quickly after the Big Bang, when the universe was just 3% of its current age. The researchers say the galaxies are so massive they are, quote, in tension with 99% of the models for cosmology. This means that either the models need to be altered, or scientific understanding of galaxy formation requires a fundamental rethink. As Nelson said, the Milky Way forms about one to two new stars every year. Some of these galaxies would have to be forming hundreds of new stars a year for the entire history of the universe. If even one of these galaxies is real, it will push against the limits of our understanding of cosmology. Surprisingly, this isn't the last time Big Bang got caught up in trouble by JWST's discoveries. Last month, researchers unveiled results from one of the biggest and deepest astronomical surveys of the night sky carried out by JWST. The effort has identified six new universe breakers. From within the first 650 million years after the universe was born in the Big Bang, they are some of the earliest galaxies ever seen. 
and the findings have been dazzling astronomers, revealing that stars and galaxies were forming and evolving much earlier than anyone had suspected. In other words, JWST is finding more structure early on in the universe than anyone had expected. As Kevin Hainline, an astronomer at the University of Arizona in Tucson said, I did not expect to see these types of objects at all in our data. Observations preceding those of the JWST were already filling some astronomers with niggling doubts. In 2016, the galaxy GNZ11 was discovered. According to established theories, its light would have been emitted 13.4 billion years ago, a mere 400 million years after the supposed origin of the universe. In astronomical terms, 400 million light years is a psi. In 2020, the oldest black hole yet observed was discovered at 12.8 billion years old. But how could a black hole arise at a time when matter was supposedly as yet too diffuse to cause gravitational collapse? Becky Schmethurst, a junior researcher at the University of Oxford and a specialist in black holes, says, Let's assume the very first stars formed black holes around 200 million years after the Big Bang. After they collapsed, you've then got about 13 and a half billion years to grow your black hole to billions of times the mass of the Sun. That's too short a time to get it that big just with accretion. Again, it was only in 2021 that the galaxy BRI 1335-0417 was discovered. A spiral galaxy 12.4 billion years old, about a billion years earlier than the time thought possible to form this type of complex galaxy, according to the Big Bang Theory. We have discovered mammoths in the universe at a time when it seemed like they shouldn't exist. Now we need more data to know how they got there, said physicist Guillermo Boro of the University of the Pacific. The JWST promises to shed further light on these questions, but we predict that new data will only create further problems for the proponents of the Big Bang Theory. It is still early days and much more rigorous analysis is necessary to confirm the initial observations. But some already believe that the JWST has imagined the oldest galaxies yet discovered. Glass Z11 and Glass Z12, dubbed Glassy. According to preliminary analysis, these galaxies formed just 300 million years after the Big Bang. By comparison, our planet is 4.5 billion years old, and it takes 200 million years for our galaxy, the Milky Way, to complete just one rotation. The classical theory of galaxy development cannot explain how these galaxies might have formed in such a short time. And this is just the beginning. Other pre-publication papers are making claims of having identified even older galaxies. In the words of one science journalist, In fact, astrophysicists are already finding the early universe might be a lot busier than they expected. Stars may have started forming at a much faster rate than some models have predicted. How did matter coalesce and start to form these galaxies early on? We don't know yet, but Webb is, seemingly, already rewriting what we thought we knew about the beginning of, well, everything. Referring to Glassy, the same article continues, Astronomers are basking in the possibility of Glassy, which, on top of being a potential record breaker, is also far weirder than they'd imagined. Astronomers have always thought that galaxies couldn't have gotten very big so early in the universe's history and would start bulking up on stars about 500 million years out from the Big Bang. But Glassy is extremely luminous, suggesting that it holds an abundance of stars, which together are one billion times as massive as our Sun. It isn't just the size of these galaxies that poses a problem, to the established theory, so too does their composition. The stuff they are made of typically suggests it has been recycled over many generations of star formation. Big Bang theorists calculate that after the initial explosion that created the universe, all that existed was hydrogen and helium and tiny amounts of heavier elements, 
But we already find a surprising abundance of heavy elements and dust produced in earlier stars in these early galaxies. Again, in the words of a scientist studying such early galaxies in 2020, quote, From previous studies, we understood that such young galaxies are dust poor. However, we find around 20% of the galaxies that assembled during this early epoch are already very dusty and a significant fraction of the ultraviolet light from newborn stars is already hidden by this dust." End quote. The question of galaxy formation, enormous agglomerations of swirling gas, dust, and stars, is only the tip of the iceberg. Observational astronomy has uncovered far, far larger structures that completely confound Big Bang cosmologists. According to the assumptions that form part of Big Bang cosmology, no cosmic object can be more than 250 million light years wide. And yet, every year astronomers are discovering larger and larger megastructures that are billions of light years wide. In 2021, astronomers identified a structure dubbed the Giant Arc. Although it is far too faint to be seen with a naked eye, it covers a region of the sky that spans 20 full moon diameters in length. Yet, this enormous string of galaxies is located a mind-boggling 9 billion light years away and is 3.3 billion light years long. There is no doubt that the JWST will continue to discover other mammoth structures and perhaps some that even loom larger than the giant arc. Light itself would take billions of years to traverse such a structure. The freefall collapse of matter under gravity would have taken eons. These discoveries are weighing down on the Big Bang theory. There is only so long that the theory's defenders can continue moving the goalposts in the manner that they have done for decades to force observations to fit their preconceived view. Genuine science progresses as theories are devised to explain our observations. An accumulation of inexplicable observations at a certain stage demands the revision of a theory. Certainly there is a disconcerted mood among astronomers. Panic reads the title of one pre-publication paper. Right now, I find myself lying awake at three in the morning and wondering if everything I've done is wrong, tweeted Alison Kirkpatrick of the University of Kansas. However, the consciousness of the elites of the scientific community is quite conservative. Therefore, rather than question the underlying theory, the theory of Big Bang cosmology, they are denying galaxies their infancy. Given the evidence of galaxies almost as old as the universe itself, proponents of the Big Bang assume that early galaxies formed faster than initially theorized. There is no reason to assume that the history of the local universe was not punctuated by periods of sudden development. There may well have been one or more booms of galaxy formation. The universe abounds in abrupt and sudden dialectical processes. The attempts to adjust the birth rates of galaxies, however, have less to do with explaining the birth of galaxies and everything to do with saving a theory that is quickly coming into question in the light of new discoveries. Well, that's all the information we have for you today. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's episode. Subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell so you never miss out on future episodes. And be sure to tell us what you think about today's content. Everyone's support motivates us to continue delivering quality content like this and to always improve. And as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.